नमस्कार वेलकम बैक टू चैनल सिंपली फाइव योर स्पेस since we moved back to our home after renovation many of you commented and asked me to make a video on a new utility area during renovation this area had a complete makeover in today's video i will give you a tour of this area and will also show you how i've organized it let's get started earlier our utility area would look like this we just had a provision for a washing machine and a dishwasher was randomly installed in one corner of the utility room and dryer was kept in the balcony vacuum cleaner was also kept in the balcony i wanted all my machines to have a dedicated space in the utility area we don't have a separate store room and it was used for random storage as well renovation gave me an opportunity to improve it as per my requirement and this is how it looks We have reshuffled the cabinets and their laminate color for better visual appeal. I'm so happy that my machines who have helped me so much have their own dedicated homes. We have made three open cubicles here to fix our washing machine, clothes dryer and dishwasher. Washing clothes and drying are seamless and it speeds up my work. A lot of you ask me why I have two washing machines. So the first one is a washing machine and the second one is a tumble dryer which 100% dries the clothes in about 60 to 90 minutes. Well, there are washing machines with the built-in dryer option, but I prefer it this way so that on my laundry day a single machine does not get blocked and overwhelmed by multiple cycles of washing and drying. Here in the last we have our dishwasher which is now installed near to the sink. which makes the dish loading and unloading much easier and faster than before the granite counter top is replaced by white quartz which is the same shade as a kitchen the counter top is mainly used to store frequently used kitchen appliances such as wet grinder to make dosa idli batter bread maker and atta kneader mixer grinder and a juicer These appliances I use often and as they are permanently placed here it is convenient for me to use them from here and I don't have to carry them to the kitchen. Due to machines we had to raise the height of the counter top from the floor and because of that the cabinets are installed a little higher than usual. So to access I will need to keep most of the items in the baskets. Now let's see the cabinets and how I've organized them. I made a list of things to be stored here and printed the labels for easy identification and restorage. All the extra stock of laundry and dishwashing, mainly one or two packets, will be stored in this basket. And open bottles of laundry essentials like liquid to wash woolens, fabric whitener, starch etc will be kept in this small basket. I have labeled them neatly. This basket will have all the cleaning tools like brushes and wipers to clean different areas of the house and this basket will have all the extra mop pads and microfiber gloves. These small baskets will be used to store cleaning cloths. This transparent box has extra scrub pads and this basket will have all the garbage bags. These two big baskets are designated to store accessories for vacuum cleaners. This one for Dyson and another one for Robo vacuum cleaner. For gardening material and few other cleaning powders like detergent, borax, dishwashing powder, I'm using my old grocery containers. I have labeled them neatly for better identification. Now let's see how I've organized them. The first cabinet just above the washing machine has two shelves. The lower shelf is designated for laundry and dishwashing material. All the gardening materials like NPK, Epsom salt, pebbles along with the gardening tool caddy are stored on the top shelf. The next cabinet has various types of home cleaning sprays and cleaning solutions. which are organized using lazy susan for easy access this side all the car cleaning supplies are kept the top shelf is used for storing basket of cleaning tools and mop pads
the third cabinet is assigned for medicines and first aid earlier one of the cabinets in the master bedroom was assigned as a medicine cabinet but now that cabinet is used by my husband for his books so we shifted the medicines here now let's see the other side as we enter the utility area first comes this tall cabinet the lower cabinet has my dyson vacuum cleaner the charging station is installed inside the cabinet which is very convenient here on this metal shelf i have kept my most frequently used 2-3 dyson accessories rest are kept in the storage here few cleaning dusters are stored these two baskets are kept here to collect all the dirty cleaning cloths and kitchen cloths and to clean them a foldable tub is also kept here the door space is utilized to hang brooms, dustpan, bathroom wiper, cleaning gloves and microfiber gloves. This cabinet has solved my problem of scattered and shabby looking cleaning tools. This cabinet has overhead storage as well. Three shelves are given here. The bottom shelf is used for storing cleaning cloths, a box of scrubs and garbage bags. If you keep garbage bags in this kind of basket with handles, you can easily remove a bag directly from there without taking the basket out. Another small basket has descaling powder, bathroom freshener and packets of drain cleaner. The second shelf is assigned for accessories of Dyson and Robo vacuum cleaner. The top shelf is empty for now. Let's move ahead. This cabinet has a small geyser installed for hot water used for hand washing the dishes. It also helps in concealing the chimney pipe which is coming from the kitchen. It also doubles up as a storage. I have stored dish drying mats here and paper and cloth bags which we get when we purchase online groceries and veggies. The next small cabinet is just above the dishwashing sink. So it is used for keeping a refill pack of dish liquid, cutlery rack and fennel for dishwasher and this holder which has sink cleaning and bottle cleaning brushes. Utility sink has been upgraded along with a new efficient and functional pull out water tap with spray. This helps clean the sink effortlessly. There is also a food crusher installed at the bottom of the sink to crush the waste food. A lot of you ask me how it works. So all the waste food collected in the sink goes inside it and once you switch on the motor, it grinds the food which dilutes easily and prevents clogging the drainage and foul smell of rotten food sticking to the drainage pipe, which also prevents unwanted pests from entering our kitchen. To organize the sink area essentials, I have recently found this steady and smartly designed caddy from IKEA which has drainage holes inside for free flow. I have got these two dispensers also. One for storing dish liquid and another for hand wash liquid. I have kept cleaning sponges and metal scrubs here in this section and bottle brushes here. All in one caddy. And it fits perfectly here in the corner. This side of the sink has this metal dish drying rack. Just below this, there is a cabinet where we keep the gas cylinder. Just above the washing machine, we have two open shelves. Here I will keep laundry liquids and dishwashing tablets. I am using these two bottles with handles to store laundry washing liquid and softener. And these jars are used for storing baking soda and dishwashing tablets. Lot of you ask why you need to keep them in bottles and jars when they can be directly used from their original packaging. First because I buy big refill packs which are hard to use directly and second is they look so beautiful this way. On this side I have my cleaning caddy which is used for dusting. All the mesh bags and undergarment washing bags are stored in this lovely basket and kept here. To add a little decor next to this I have placed a frame and a planter here. With this all the storage is done. I feel if you organize any area of the house beautifully, it just brings the positive vibes and makes daily chores and cleaning little interesting. Here next to the sink, I have placed two separate dustbins, one for dry waste and other for wet waste. And here the spin mop with its basket is kept. 
Here I have this metal towel holder which is used for drying kitchen cloths after wiping the dishes. I have also placed hooks here to hang multiple cleaning cloths for drying after usage. Proper drying after usage prevents foul smell and bacteria from growing. Many of you ask me what about this door behind the sink. So this is a small toilet given here. And another door which is near the washing machine goes to my little office where all the shooting equipment is stored. All the video editing is also done here. So that was all about a newly renovated utility area. There is no need to compare it with yours. This is made as per my preferences and needs and yours could be different. Many of you commented and asked me about the measurements and material used in the utility area. All the details are given in the description box below. Thank you for watching. We'll see you all next week. Happy organizing from Simplify Your Space. Bye bye.